name is Jacques Garnier, and we're here at the Laguna Art Museum for my show, Hymns to the Silence. Hymns to the Silence refers to a body of work of architectural abstractions that I have minimalized. The effort behind it is to eliminate the chaos, eliminate distractions, eliminate any of the noise so that we can look at the object and meditate on that particular object. It's been said that there is isolation in my work, and the idea is not isolation as being kept apart from everything else. The idea is to isolate the building free of chaos, destructions, turmoil, or anything else so that we can spend time meditating, visualizing, or connecting with the piece itself. When I first started the series, it was certain patterns and buildings that attracted me. But I realized as the series developed that it was also shapes, it was parts of shapes. It was isolated incidences, at trying to understand the vision of the architect as well as focusing on the musicality or the femininity or masculinity of the piece itself. The effort of this work is to visualize or pay attention to details that architects have put into their buildings. I would like to isolate those images, those parts, so that we can spend time meditating upon them. With COVID, with the isolation that's taken place in life, we have more and more of a chance to slow down, to declutter our lives. And this series of work is trying to focus on that attention. Most of the images have been taken in Southern California locations, primarily San Diego, Orange County, and Los Angeles, trying to find iconic buildings or buildings that are of interest to me. We spend so much time not looking at things. We spend so much time on our phones, paying attention to those things that we're constantly distracted. And my effort was to try to find parts of these buildings that I found particularly interesting so that people would slow down and pay attention to them. Initially, I started going to university campuses to find my work. I was intrigued by some of the repetition of the architecture, some of the negative space. From then on, I started looking at different buildings in Los Angeles that fit certain profiles that I was interested in. If I located a building that I thought I liked doing my internet research, then I would go to Google Earth and look at the buildings from the side, from the top, to get a better idea if I was interested in the building. When I went to the building itself, I would take my time. I would walk around the building. I would just try to feel whatever the building would offer me or connect with me before I took pictures of the details. So we started off at college campuses. I would go to the Brent Center in downtown LA, for example, or to MoCA or to the Walt Disney Center. One of my favorite locations was Hayden Park in the um, Santa Monica, Culver City area. Anything that had sort of an unusual slice of architecture, of a shape or a form that would intrigue me. The idea of the black negative space comes from a couple of philosophies, from this philosophy of wabi-sabi, uh, which comes out of the Japanese tea ceremonies of the 16th century. And the idea there was to isolate things, to take away everything that was non-essential so that you could concentrate on what was essential. That's driven most of my work over my career. The other major influence was another Japanese philosophy called ma, which could be interpreted as the silence between the posts. And so combining all of these things is where I came up with the idea of isolating these buildings in black negative space. Mm -hmm. 